hello everyone welcome back to this video series on explanation of BASA certification questions from the BASA certification prep guide in this video we will see the questions from editing and debugging SAS programs chapter we have our first question which says as you write and edit SAS programs it is a good idea to begin the data and proc steps in column 1 yes indent statements within a step yes begin run statements in column 1 and all of this so if we follow these kind of things so how does our programs look like say for example if I am just creating a copy of sas help dot class into uh, this one and also subset for where sex is equal to m so it says that it's a good uh, good practice to edit SAS programs in such a way that the data and proc steps start in column 1 and then subsequent statements are indented and also begin run statement so again assume that there is no space here so when you write your code this way it will become more readable so it's a good practice or good idea to follow all of these things so let us now check if our option is correct or not so let us remove the annotation it says our response was correct so let us move on to the next question so it says what usually happens when a SAS syntax error is detected so when a syntax error is detected so it means that SAS is not able to follow the instructions which you have provided so it cannot process further particularly in that step and then it throws a message in the error window and stops processing that step so let's see if we have some option related to it it's the first option says SAS continues processing the step so if it's a syntax error so this means that SAS does not understand what the specific request you have made so it does not continue processing the step because of if we have a syntax error in it so this option is not correct and then the next one says SAS continues to process the step the SAS log displays the message about the error so so as it SAS does not continue processing the step so this is also not the correct answer so it says SAS stops processing the step in which the error occurred and SAS log displays messages about the error so yes we do the it stops processing the step and we also get message in the SAS log about the error so this seems to be the correct option but let us take a look at the last option before concluding so it says SAS stops processing the output in which the error occurred so this both seems to be the same in these two options but here it says the output window displays the message about the error we get the error messages in log window but not the output window so this is not correct for that reason so third option seems to be the correct one let us take a look at the option and see if it is actually correct yes it says our response is correct let's move on to the next question so it says a syntax error occurs when some data values are not appropriate for the SAS statements that are specified in a program so SAS actually sees the data values in a particular program at the time in a particular variable only at the time of SAS sees the data values only at the time of execution but syntax error check only occurs at the time of comp compilation so the this does not seem to be the correct option because it says some data values are not appropriate for SAS statement that are specified in a program we do get a data error but not syntax error with this kind of scenario then the next one says the form of the elements in a SAS statement is correct but the elements are not valid for that usage so before we come to a conclusion on this second statement let us take a look at the third option it says the program statement do not conform to the rules of the SAS language this seems to be correct because if we are not following the rules specified by the SAS language it results in a syntax error and the last one says none of the above from these options second option seems to be the correct one let us check if it is actually the case 
it says our response is correct so let us move on to the next question so how can you tell whether you have specified an invalid option in a SAS program so it the question is related to a usage of a invalid option in a SAS program so it says the first option says a log message indicates an error in a statement that seems to be valid and the second option says a log message indicates that an option is not valid or not recognized and the message proc running or data step running appears on the top of the active window and the last option says you cannot tell until you view the output from the program so whenever we specified an invalid option on a particular line of the sas program it actually says that it is not valid or not recognized so the first option says a log message indicates an error in a statement that seems to be valid so this is not the case so it only indicates if it is wrong if, if a log message indicates an error only if it is not the correct option so the second option seems to be the correct one so it says a log message indicates that an option is not valid or not recognized so let us see if this is the correct option or not so let's go through the explanation once when you submit a sas statement that contains an invalid option a log message notifies you that the option is not valid or not recognized so you should recall the program remove or replace the invalid option check your statement syntax as needed and resubmit the corrected program to fix the issue so let us now move on to the next question so which of the following programs contain a syntax error so we have four options and in the first step a sort step is being used so proc sort data is equal to sas user dot my sales by region followed by a run statement this seems to be okay so in the second option we have that instead of data the step is beginning with dat sas user dot my sales set my data sales 99 and run so this is kind of questionable and let's go through the third option it says proc print data is equal to sas user dot my sales followed by the option label so which is an acceptable option on the proc print statement and then a label statement and which is assigning the text sales region for the variable region and followed by a run statement so this seems to be okay and then the last option says none of these so we know that data step has to begin with the keyword data so and there is no letter a here so this seems to be the correct option so let us see if this is the case yes it says our response is correct the data step contains a misspelled keyword dat instead of data so let us now move on to the next question so what does the log indicate about your program so we have the screenshot of a log which shows some error and it seems to be the error message appeared on line 1473 where with some uh, error being message being indicated saying that syntax error expecting one of the following like blank line contents data and so on so let us go through the options and see what could be correct it says sas identifies a syntax error at the position of the var statement so this seems to be the case so at the position of the var statement the error is identified and it says sas is reading var as an option in the proc print statement so if we do not have a semicolon specified here after the class so it is thinking that var is an option on the proc print so it is saying that it is listing all the possible options on the proc print statement so it is assuming that var is an option on the proc print statement but it could not recognize from the allowed or acceptable proc print statement option so it is indicating that SAS, this log message is indicating that SAS is reading var as an option on the proc print statement so this is true and it says SAS has stopped processing the program because of errors so if we clearly see this note which says SAS system stopped processing this step because of errors so this is also correct so we have a last option which says all of these so which seems to be the correct one let us check if that is the case 
it says our response is correct thank you for watching and keep learning